Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the absolutely amazing new Daisy horse mod from Hunter Z. Um, yeah, this is really, really, really good. So what this mod gives you is wild horses that wander around your server, which you can then tame by offering them an apple and, get, and putting a bridle on them and a saddle so that you can ride them. Uh, you'll find bridles and saddles in farming areas uh, all around the map. And then once you're on your horse, you can sprint around with it. You can jump over things. Um, there's a stable kit as well to store your horses in. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Looks really great. And looking forward to seeing this on lots and lots of servers. So well done to um, Hunter Z and his uh, the people who help him. I guess this is another absolutely fantastic fantastic mod so before we go any further let's just exit out of this so i can show you the files nice and easy let's shut that down as well uh what we want to do is let's shut down this local server as well what we want to do is we're going to go over to steam and you can do this on the web or you can do it within the steam client and don't worry all these links will be in the description below this video and we need to subscribe to daisy horse but also it does have a dependency which is survivor animation so you want to subscribe to both of those and then you'll want to fire up the daisy client sorry the daisy launcher so that it downloads the mods now before we get started I just want to have a quick look at these files and just show you what we're going to do because these animal mods from Hunter Z, they take a couple of extra steps um, that we have to do compared to some other mods as well. So if you ever want to figure out where your mods are stored you know, in your workshop folder, the easiest way to get to it is if you go, just go to the mods section in the launcher, click on the little, little arrow there on any mod it doesn't have to be daisy horse click on the three dots there and open folder in windows explorer and this will take you to it's not really where the workshop mods are stored but for all intents and purposes this is where they are so there you can see we've got daisy horse there and then we've got survivor animations there so let's just go in and have a look so the first thing you'll see is we have a types file so let's have a look at that so what we can see here is the type snippet that for ease of use, I just like to add it to my types to XML on my server. I know you could use CFG Economy Core to add it as a separate file. As you see, we've got the saddle, bridle, um, we've got the, mate, the meat and the pelt, um, should you wish to kill and eat a horse. Um, and then we've got the stable daisy kit. So you've got the kit to make the stable, and obviously that makes the stable itself. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got that one. And then we've also got the uh, add-ons which is the pbo the kind of engine behind the mod we've got the key for the server um, so that's good and now this folder here that says horse territories it has more in it so yes we do have the horse territories like you have the bear territories and the deer territories and things like that just remember when we add these to our server we're going to rename this file because hunter has been kind enough to create a banoff chernerus chimsey deer isle livonia and the mask um territories file so we're gonna we, we are going to change that and this is a work in progress this mod so i'd expect to see more territory files added to this um, as we go along we also have an events file so if we just open that up and have a look at this now this is a bit unusual i don't know if this is deliberate or not but this is a whole events file now we don't want the whole of the event what we're going to do is we're just going to use a snippet of it we're going to use the horse mod bit there um Let's just shut that down because uh, I don't think we need that at this point. Um, and then we'll also look at the CFG event spawn. So if we edit that with Notepad Plus, let's just have a look at that. So the CFG event spawns, animal events aren't controlled by the CFG event spawns, but you do need to have an entry about the event down at the bottom. So that's the bit we're going to use there when we get to that bit. And then we've got the CFG environment. So if we have a look at that one, what we're interested in here is this entry here. Now, this is where you'll see, um, this is telling the server where the territories file is. But you see it's called wild underscore, underscore horse underscore territories .xml. So you see that's why we've got to change the name of the, like the Chernerus horse territory to that. So we're interested in that. We're going to add that. 
we're also going to add this as well so there's a few little snippets we're going to be adding so we need to be careful with our copying and pasting and obviously one of the things you might want to do is validate your files before you use them so once all of this is downloaded to your um, local PC into your workshop folder what we're going to do now is we're going to go on over to our server now in this case I'm using a daisy nitrado server or a nitrado daisy server and the way that we add mods to it the uh, to get to start with them is we go into the settings and we go into the additional mod section if you've got a dedicated box or you're using a local server um, or you have access to the, the windows batch file that starts your server the dot bat file you'll have a line in that that says start and within that you'll have mods or additional mods in fact i think it just says mods um, and so what you can see here we've added um, we would click stop on the server first just stop the server first in fact, let's do that now we've added at the end survivor animations and day z horse if you're not uh, confident with spelling or typing like myself if you go to where your mods are in the workshop folder what I do is I just click on them like this so left click once left click again then right click and copy that then I go here and then I kind of paste them in like so and I would do that for survivor animations and daisy horse remember each mod has to have a semicolon in between it and the next mod apart from the last one which doesn't need one at all and so what's that what that is doing is it's making sure that when the server starts the server will look for these mods and then try and start the server with those mods so we'll leave the server stopped for the time being and what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to our FTP program. In this case, I'm using uh, FileZilla, and we're going to upload Daisy Horse and Survivor animations to our server. Um, if you go into your FTP program and you're not sure where uh, your workshop is, again, the easy way to do it is uh, the way I just showed you, where you uh, go to the launcher and click across. So we would have ended up here. And then if you left click up at the top, it will give you an address which you can then right click copy go to your FTP program and then you can simply paste that in the top there and press enter and that will take us to where the workshop is so on the left hand side we've got our local local computer workshop on the right hand side I've already connected to my um, server let's just make sure we're on daisy standalone and I'm just going to go to daisy horse I'm going to right click that and say upload and that will then upload to here. I've done it already just for time's sake because uh, I have a really slow internet connection. If FileZilla does that to you, which it does, basically it's following the um, the shortcut. Just scroll back up. Now once Daisy Horse is uploaded, what we want to do then is we want to add the key. So on the right hand side where your server is, just go down to where the key folder is. And so we see, see we've got the key here and then you right click and upload. Now if you've already got some of Hunter's um, mods already installed it will say well you've already got this so you just say okay so, so that's good so that's done so the next thing we want to install is uh, the survivor animations let's just close that so we're gonna make sure we click left clicked on standalone up here and down here we're gonna right click and upload survivor animations as you can see it's already done for me so then I'm just gonna open up survivor animations click on the keys folder scroll down to the keys folder here again and then we can upload that and because we've already uploaded it with the horse mod it's just going to say so you just say override i'm not really sure why modders have the same key for different mods i don't know you think you'd have different ones wouldn't you but anyway they don't so don't worry about that so we've got the but we've got the pbo's up there we've got the keys up there but now this is where we need to uh, edit the missions files um, so that we can add the types and the, the uh, and the other stuff as well. So what you need to make sure, if you haven't already, within the Daisy Horse mod, go in and you want to open up the types, um, and you'll want to open up the CFG environment, CFG events pools, and CFG events. So you've got them open up in your favourite text editor like this. So there we've got types, CFG environment, CFG environment spawns, and events, because we're going to use those in a second as well now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into missions here 
um, and we're in Chernerus Plus, and we're going to go into the ENV folder. Uh, if, if we click it there. So these are all the territories. So if we now go back up to Daisy Horse on the left, there we go, and we go to Horse Territories. This is a Chernerus server I'm working on, so we would go right click and say Upload, and that then uploads that into this uh, ENV folder. But it's the wrong name, this file. This is the wrong name. It's, we're not going to be using Horses Chernerus. So what you can do is if you then go back to your uh, CFG environment, you can see this is the name we're using, Wild Horse Territories. So we can just right, we can just um, left click and highlight all of that. We can right click copy. And we can go back to here. And we can left click on that, right click it and say rename. And then we're just going to rename that. We're going to just control V, paste that wild horse territories and just press enter. Now, I've already done it. So it says this name already exists. So I say continue. Yes. So that's already there now. So we've renamed the territories file. So, so that's pretty cool. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to go back to the root directory. So click on daisyoffline.chernerus plus. Um, and then we're going to look at the CFG environment file first. So if we scroll down and file, find CFG environment, so left click it. Now we can right click and we say view, edit it. And that will then download this to our local computer. It might say, what do you want me to open it up in? Um, as you can see, it's opened it up in, C, in uh, Notepad++. So now what I can do is I can just copy this horse mod bit. Just make sure it's the horse mod bit. Go to my CFG environment that it's opened up. As you can see, I've already done it. So underneath hair territories, just make some make some space and then right click and then paste and you'll end up with the horse mod there like that. Um, let's just make sure we've done that right. Yep, so that, that's in there. And then you click save. And then you go back to files there and say, this file has changed, you want me to upload it? And you would say yes. And then you would remember that you hadn't done all of it. because <laughs> There's a little bit more we've got to do. So if we look at CFG environment and we scroll down, we can see we've got to do this bit as well. So we copy that bit as well. So that's underneath wild boar territories. And then we go to our CFG environment and underneath wild boar territories, make some space and then paste it in and you'll see you'll paste that section there so we've got horse mod to horse mod save that go back to files and say you've changed the file again do you want to upload it and you say yes so that's good so once we've done that what i like to do then is i then close this because we've, we've done it so the next one we're interested in is cfg event spawns so let's find cfg event spawns here there it is right click view edit it there it is. And remember what we said was, it's right at the bottom we want. So if we just copy that from there, right click, copy, go back to CFG event spawn, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then underneath animal wild boar, put a couple of spaces in, and then paste in that bit, and that will then be in there, and then just hit save. Go back to FileZilla, and it'll say, you've changed something, you, do you wanna upload it again? I say, yes. Then I go back to here and I just close that. So the next one is events. So we need to add the events. So let's go back here now. Events is inside the DB folder. So we click in DB, left click that, right click it, view, edit it. So we've now open that, go back to the events, find events. Remember when you open um, the file up from within the mod, it's, it's a fair way down. There is horse mod. So you just highlight all of that copy that go to your events file now I like to add my additional stuff at the top um, it's probably should be in alphabetical order but as you can see I've just after the initial events I've just put a couple of spaces in and I've pasted that in and we've put all that in that way can we save that go back to files there it says the files changed you want to upload it we say yes and then I go back here and I shut that down there so that's good so the final one we're going to do is the types.xml, which is this one here. So back to FileZilla, go to types, right click, uh, view, edit it. So that will then download it. Now, again, I added mine at the top. So underneath where it says types, 
add a couple of spaces go to the types here now you, you just copy you don't copy the types at the top you copy from there all the way down and you don't copy in the bottom bit and you would right click copy that go to your types and paste it in however one thing I would say I think there's too many saddles and too many bridles so what I would definitely do is I you don't need this many I would probably have 30 max and then maybe have your minimum as 15 um, otherwise there's just gonna be all these saddles and bridles hanging around um, in your farms and I don't like it when there's too many of one thing it is the zombie apocalypse isn't it after all and so you don't you don't want too much of stuff and as you can see they're found in farms which makes sense and we can save that and then file Zilla will say you've edited it do you want to upload it we say yes so that now uploads it so now we've uploaded the mod PBOs both of them we've uploaded the keys for both of them as well we've adjusted the mission files as well to put them in and we've also gone in and we've edited our um, additional mod section or our windows batch file or our start.bat file to include uh, the survivor animations and the daisy horse as you can see there so let's just do a final save changes just to make sure everything's taken um, and then we just hit start server or restart server and you will then have the horses hanging around an absolutely fantastic mod Thank you very much to Hunter Z and everybody who's worked with him to bring this to Daisy. Remember, this is a work in progress and more things will undoubtedly be added as we go along. Um, and yeah, very, very excited uh, to, for, for this. And I think hopefully the Daisy devs and Bohemian Interactive are looking at this sort of thing and thinking, I tell you what, this would be nice to have in the base game, especially if we could add it to console. Imagine if we had horses and dogs i mean that'd be absolutely perfect wouldn't it what do you think though put your questions and comments down below if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon